Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. Starting things off is a band from Cincinnati, Ohio that quickly gained fans after a TikTok video using their hit song went viral. Here with that song, Make You Mine Is Public. This weekend at the show box, but the guys are coming yeah. over, John, Matt, and Ben. How is it to sing this early in the morning? Oh, it's great. It's Refreshing. Great. Yes. Shall we shall we reenact our awkward handshake of earlier? Absolutely. Here we nice go. to meet this you on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened this morning. But then it was all up. Yeah, it's very good. Thanks. Natural okay. the way people do. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. The way we do early in the morning when yeah. we're not quite with it. Um, how'd you guys get together? Um, well, Ben and I have known each other since kindergarten. Uh, really? Yeah. Lifelong and, friends. That's awesome. Uh, we all went to the same school, so Matt was a grade above us. Right. And then we kind of got to know each other better through high school jazz band, actually. That was sort of when we realized that he was a musician and we're musicians. And, yeah. um, Let's do yeah. this together. Yeah. So it's interesting to me where we get our music these days, that yeah. TikTok is a yeah. source that somebody can be on a TV show or yeah. whatever as part of the soundtrack and you discover a new band. But TikTok, I know it for very short videos. So mm -hmm. how did yeah. they? How did this this all work? That that gave you a great 
platform. Yeah, we still don't really understand how we got on there. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you to the fans that put yes, it on yeah. there. Whoever that first person that Whoever was like, you are. Oh, this is a good TikTok song. <laughs> like, somebody um, used it yeah, as part of their it. TikTok video, yeah. and yeah. then it went viral. Our fans ended up starting uh, tagging us in Instagram posts yeah. using TikToks, so it kind of could like travels across yeah, platforms. True. Um, and we didn't really know what to do with it at the time, <laughs> so we were just right. like, "This is cool, I guess." And we were just like, "What's the next song we're gonna push out?" Yeah. But our manager, Kevin Jonas Senior, was like, "Hey, we need to like stop everything right now and like take advantage of this. This is huge." Is there there it is, by the way. There's the video. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's so, Isaac, Isaac and, and Sarah. And Sarah, yeah. And. I take it they're getting engaged, yes. Yes. and everybody's happy. Yeah. They're also the, the sweetest people. Yeah. Are they? They're, and no, the song's incredible. perfect for that. It's also perfect for Valentine's, so you're right, yes. you're right yeah. on time. Yeah, right up here, yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about the song. Who wrote it? What happened? How'd it get going? Um, well, so I was uh, I was in college. I was in CCM, which is a conservatory in Cincinnati. Um, wasn't good at college, but I was in a keyboard class and was And you were good at that. I, <laughs> well, I was practicing a scale, mm -hmm. and it was like, do 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 and then I heard, just kind of heard that riff in there, kind of freaked out, went home, uh, wrote the chorus. I was dating. It was my first serious relationship at the time, too, so I had a lot of, you know, good stuff to pull from. Um, and then as we kind of did back then, brought it to Ben's parents' basement and yeah. flushed <laughs> out the rest of the song. Happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They flushed flow out from Ben's magic. parents' basement. Yeah. <laughs> and we just, we just kind of finished a version of it. Um, and I remember, you know, like, obviously not like this, but I remember when we finished it feeling like, wow, that's, that's like a different one for us. That one feels really, really special and there's like a lot of uh, emotion uh, at the end of it. So I don't know, it was, it was just always kind of a weird, weird song. Yeah. It's beautiful. How would you describe your music in general? Ooh. Ben, take it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, I tried Matt, but yeah. he said, I don't know, Ben, said, ben, ben with talk. the parents' basement, you that, do it. The thing that makes us stand out is that we are, we are truly a band, kind yeah. of in an old-fashioned sense. Mm -hmm. We love to play our instruments. Um, and we all have a lot of like, like very specific influences. Yeah. I like? love, I love Earth, Wind, and Fire. Do you and, really? And uh, disco and funk and stuff. And <laughs> he likes Chili Peppers. John likes Led Zeppelin. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. That's why We're, I do awesome. what I do. So. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so you bring all that together, and there yeah. are these different influences. Um, what do you think makes a song a public song? I mean, how? What is the filter you put things through to make it your own? It's all three of us. It's got to be. Uh, yeah. I think we definitely have written music individually. It's always felt very separate from what we have as a, as a group. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's our instruments specifically. So it's like, I can't write a guitar part like John can, or sure. sing like John can, or play drums like Ben can. So if I've got like a skeleton of a song, it's always going to be, let's bring this to the table. If it's a public song, let's work on it together. Yeah. And then we've done a lot of our own production so far. So all the songs like Making Mine was produced by us too. Mm -hmm. So we just like sit there in the studio for like days and weeks till it's like perfect in our eyes. Do you get it the way you want it? Right. Yeah. Um, Kevin Jonas Sr. is kind of a big deal. For yeah. Kind of. Know Papa Jonas. Who, yeah. yeah. I bad. mean, he had a little bit of luck with his kids. Right. <laughs> Small um, indie band. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, it worked out. So what does he bring to the table? How is that going to, do you think, propel you to the next level? Well, like Matt kind of mentioned earlier, I mean, it was really his idea once we started to see things uh, popping off because of this mm -hmm. social media stuff. It was his idea to, like, stop, get a radio mix of the song. We're like, whoa, mm -hmm. radio? Like, I, the song's going to be on the radio? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, <laughs> like, let's take this thing to radio. Um, I mean, and it, I mean, he's the one who introduced us to the record label we're working with now, Island Records. Um, I mean, he's, he has, I mean, he and his team, really, because there's awesome people working with him as well. Uh, he's just kind of taken everything that we didn't have and the things that we already were working on, which is really just music and playing shows, and uh, kind of taken them all just up a few levels. Um, and also just like, yeah, like he, he knows a lot of people, and, and I, think, I think he's a big champion of the fact that we are a band. You know, he's like right. the music industry could use a band again, you know, mm -hmm. um, guys playing their instruments, guys out there like connecting in a live show setting, which is also... That's like our thing, is like playing live shows. Um, it's it's fun, it's rock and roll, it's, you know, there are mistakes that happen. It's just kind of, you know, it's not... It's music. It's, it's not, music. It, it differentiates itself from social media in which where you can right. polish things, so it's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys very Thank much. You yeah, Thank you for having us. Yeah, so I appreciate it yeah. very much. Listen, let's do our weird one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. Oh, nice to meet you. you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Very good. That. <laughs> it's our public handshake. Yeah. Public performs this Saturday at the Showbox on the Band of Brothers Road Show with American Authors and Magic Giant. You will find a link to tickets on our website.